like f like for a transition position or when when the guys when the guy playing bottom is trying to hip bump that's the only time i use this okay because it's really easy to remove the grapevine from here okay but from here what i want you to get used to is when you're in the mount i don't want you to exert a lot of effort like you're squeezing and you're you're using a lot of energy by being here because you're already in a very uh you're in, a, you're in a dominant position, a very advantageous position. So you want to be able to chill when you're here. So when you're in the mount, it's like um, you're riding the waves. Okay? You don't want to be sitting down and, and you know, putting a lot of weight. So that every time he shifts his weight to one side, let's say Jay decides to move this way, go, 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 go. Then I can easily follow him here. He moves to the other side. See, I can just lift and follow. He bridges up, go bridge. See, it's easy for me to just follow him here. And every time Jay tries to bump me and I post, see, because if I don't post, I will hit my, my face on the mat. I don't want you to post close to his head. Every time he go bridge and bump, you want to be able to spread your arms and put your weight down. See how I'm moving my hips down, moving my chest down and making sure like in my kids class we call this spider hands you know like having that spider way of moving from side to side so it's the same concept like every time he tries to bridge boom you spread your weight here okay and i want you to bring your feet here inside or here when you're in high mount okay this one it's okay it's okay to do the grapevine but i don't want to stay here because Jay will just extend his leg and see it's out. Then he can easily trap my foot, start playing half guard. I don't want that. Okay. So let's just start. Maybe let's do a, a minute here. So the guy on top will try to bridge. Okay. When the guy bridges, boom, bridge. You spread your arms and stay here. Bring your hips low. Bring your feet here. Or if you're in high mount, align to his hips. So inside or here and don't post close to his head because he can easily trap your arm inside over hook over hook see and bridge me to the other side okay but let's just play around with the position like every time the guy tries to bridge you bring your weight down and do spider hands just like kids class okay one two one two so he will create a frame here and a frame on my hips. So he has this perpendicular frame on my hips. So this will stop me from trying to get to high mount because there are frames on my hips. See, it's really hard for me to come up and it's, it's limiting my attacks from the mount. Okay, so I need to be able to address this frame because if I don't address this frame, it's already inside my knee. His Professor Ali's goal is to be able to be able to move to one side and see trap this foot here. He will try to see catch my foot and then I'll end up in quarter uh, uh, quarter mount or quarter guard and start he'll start playing half guard and then I lose the position. Okay, so the moment I feel that he's framing, he's moving to that side because uh, his elbow is on this side. The moment I feel that go, he's moving, I'm going to lift my knee and bring my heel to his hip here. Okay? So my knee here, so for, the, for this, for, for this uh, sequence, because usually we go for the chair sit here and attack the back. Okay? But this time, since we're working on the mount, I want your knee to be aligned to his waist here. So, so I have my heel here, and then my knee will be in the same line, okay? And usually, the, my cue f to attack the back is when this frame is no longer here. But he will be smart, and he will keep the frame there, because that's his line of defense, okay? So from here, see I, here, the goal of the person in the bottom, he will try to curl up so that he can start like, defending and, and, and uh, bringing his elbows in so that he can defend. So from here, I don't want to stay here for a, for a really long time. So the moment I get here, I want to be able to use my arm 
and cross face him and bring him back to the center okay now that I'm here I can move up and now I'm in high mount it's easier for me to isolate an arm and start attacking okay so again we start here there's a frame his elbow is inside and then there's a frame across my my waist okay so he will move to this side and then I immediately bring this knee up and trap his hip and then my other knee will be here behind okay he will try to curl up and I'm going to use my cross face to bring him back to the center and use my knees and bring it under his armpits now it's easier for me to start attacking from here but let's stop here okay we'll move we'll work on the next uh a sequence after this but now I need you to to get used to him framing and beating that frame okay so from here again frame boom he moves to the side I trap and I stay low here okay we'll curl bring him back to the center I move up see how I'm already isolating this arm let's stop here okay questions Okay, none. Okay, one, two, one, two. Let's go. Elbows inside. He has his frame here and the frame here. Okay. Now, Professor Ali will try to move to his side and he will try to trap my foot here. Immediately, I move. Okay, you can use your hands to post. Okay. So, from here, see? He will try to curl and maybe push my knee. See, so I need to flatten him out, bring him back to the center. Look how high I am here from uh, low mount now I am in high mount and look how my knees are under his armpits it's really easy for me to start attacking now because his arm is isolated here from here you can take your time okay from here my first like my favorite attack is to go for an arm triangle here now that his arm is isolated I bring my chest down here See how I'm using my chest to keep his arm trapped here. And then look how I'm going to bring my arm under his head and use my other hand to push his shoulder. And now I'm on this side. Okay? So from here, look. When I'm trying to control him from here, my uh, right hand, if I'm is facing up okay but when I want to attack him it's palm down okay now look I'm going to bring my head down to the mat and use my feet my entire body to put pressure and finish the choke okay I don't want you squeezing with your arms because if you squeeze with your arms you get tired and you lose the choke okay I want you to get a good grip and you slowly walk up and use your entire weight to finish the choke. Okay? So again from here, so boom, hip escape, I move to the side. Okay, you will try to push here, I bring him back to the center and move up. Okay, I, from here I take my time. So now I can't bring my, my feet low, so I'm putting my feet on his hips. So every time he tries to move, I know where he's going because my feet are on his hips. Okay, from here you can trap and I bring my chest on top of his elbow here. He, will, he can try to escape here, it's going to be really hard because it's already the arm is already isolated. From here, I dig, I push, and I go low. Okay, from here then I can adjust. I can even push it here. See how I'm using my head to keep his arm tight on this side. Okay, when I'm ready to go, I go palm to palm. His hand facing up. Okay? Now I pose on my forehead here. And I'm stopping. But let's say from here, you want to just move. So sometimes if it's not enough, I move to the side. And walk. Okay, so again, you want to be able from the last position, you want to isolate the arm. 
And from there, take your time. Okay? Don't rush when you're in the mount because you want to be able to let the person playing bottom to exert a lot of energy. And when the person is tired, it's easier to, to finish. Okay? So slow it down from there. And then once you have this up, push, isolate, and then secure that arm triangle. Okay, you can finish in the mount. If you think it's too hard, you can move to the side and start walking up. Okay? Let's give it a shot. One, two, one, two. To the side. Move to the side. Boom. I switch here. Okay? He will try to curl and push my knees. Boom. I beat him. Move to the center here. Okay? Now look, I can take my time. See? How I'm using my chest, my upper body to trap the elbow. He can bring it to his face. Wear him out a little bit. He will try to move. Boom, 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 boom. Now I move low, 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 low. Catch him here. Okay? Now I go palm to palm. Look at my head. Boom. Walk, 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 walk. Okay? Okay, so now, this is the easy part, okay? So from here, same thing. Elbow inside, and then he moves, boom, I switch. Okay, now I bring him here, I'm high. Now look, this is already isolated, right? Now I can bring this in and control his shoulder here, okay? Now his elbow is still connected to my chest, and look. I'm going to put all of my weight to the other side. By the simple motion of bringing my head here and moving this uh, leg on top. See, now I'm heavy here. And look, my knee, you want that other knee to be under his head, like a pillow here. And you don't want your foot to be down, you want to be active on your toes. Okay, see? I'm by leaning forward, I'm putting all of my weight on him, okay? When I'm ready to go, I'm going to move to my right, bring my head to the direction of his legs so that it will be easier for me to swing this leg over and finish with an arm bar, okay? I don't want you to throw the leg over immediately, okay? So the moment I'm here, Okay, I don't want to do this because you'll end up losing the arm bar. So I want you to take your time because I'm already here. I move up. So see how he's resting on my thigh. And then I'm moving my head forward here, making sure that all of my weight is carrying my weight. Okay, if I throw the leg over his head right away, I'm going to lose the position because it's going to be really hard for me to swing it over his head. So I need to create an angle so that it will be easier for me to throw this over. So I'll bring my head this way. Now look how I can easily bring this over. It doesn't require a lot of flexibility. It's just adjusting the angle. And look how his elbow is still connected to my chest. You can even use your head to trap the wrist. So that the moment I bring my mat hits the mat, he's already hyperextending his elbow, his arm. Okay? Same thing. Trap, and then lean forward. Okay? One more time. Now in full speed. Okay? Same frame. Same frame. Boom. Up. This time. I'm going to switch here. So you're on your toes and you're isolating the arm here. So usually I like to grab here, make sure that the crook of my elbow is connected to the crook of his. You can grab onto your gi, your hip, but from here, I want to be able to put my weight and lean forward here. Okay, when I'm ready to go, I move my head to the direction of his legs creating that angle that will allow me to bring this leg over effortlessly. This elbow is connected to my chest, this is connected to my collarbone, and then I go down. 
and extend with my hips and finish here. Okay, questions? Promise? Sure, huh? Okay, <laughs> let's give it a try. One, two, one, two. The person is trying to stall. Like, the person will just try to hide his arms here, hide like that, so that he doesn't, he's not trying to frame. He's just trying to survive. See, the person is here. It's going to be really hard to attack, attack the arm from here because he's tight. And usually from here, what I want to happen is to be able to uh, use two hands against one. Okay, because if I just use one, one arm, Professor Ali is really strong here. He'll just keep his elbow close to his, to his body here and then I won't be able to take it out. So what I'll do here is I'll go two on one, usually the one on top. This is the one on top. I go to one one here. Okay, from here, I'm going to use, put my weight on my left knee and my entire body, I'll throw it to break this grip. And when I break, I want this arm to be as far as possible. I don't want it to be close here because from here, his arm is weak. It's going to be really hard to escape compared to here, okay? So again, so from here, I go for the top one, two on one here. See, I'm going to lean to my left a little bit and use my entire body to isolate that arm. Okay, so from here I can start feeding it here or I can start attacking his arm on this side. Okay, sometimes when, well, when it, this used to happen a lot when I was in my, in like blue belt, purple belt, the guy playing, the guy playing bottom will try to grab his own arm here. And when that happens, then you can go for the first one, like the previous technique, okay? But sometimes, the person will just try to bring the elbow inside here. If you're still in control because you have the two-on-one grip, okay? Let's say I can't feed the arm here, so I'll just stay here. So from the two-on-one grip, I'll stay low, okay? I'm low, and I'm going to go for the Americana here. Okay, when I finish the Americana, I don't just finish right away like this. I want you to add this detail here. So look at this, uh, look at my left hand. Even before I start lifting his elbow, I want you to move your knuckles down like you're uh, riding a motorcycle here. From there, you lift, compare it here. It's faster, easier to finish. You're not just attacking his elbow, you're separating his rotator cuff from the bone. Okay? So again, easy part, diba? Right? Super easy. From here, so which one will I go for? Okay, so two on one, boom. See, I can grip here, reinforce with the second one. I lean a little bit, boom. Really far. Okay, he tries to grab his own arm. Then we go for the arm bar here. He stays here. I take my time, I lower my chest, lower my head. I grab my own wrist. I pull a little bit, then I lift. I bring my knuckles down here and lift this elbow up. Okay? Questions? None, because it's the easiest. <laughs> right? No questions? No questions, of course. <laughs> okay, let's give it a shot. One, two, one, two. And I'm going for the Americana, okay? But you sh and then from here, uh, Professor Ali's defense is to try to straighten his arm. Now, I don't have the figure four. Okay, you know, I don't have the figure four, but I keep his wrist down, and my forearm is still under his elbow. So I drop my weight here, and I just lift. Okay. So from here, I go for the Americana here. He straightens his arm. Boom. Look. I keep my grip here. I put my, ch my, my chest on his elbow. And I extend. The bonus trap. Okay. Okay. <laughs>